Well, I hope you have been inspired by our Family Day celebration so far that you are now feeling the desire to connect with those closest to you and also the responsibility of taking some time out. Creative parenting expert Nikki Bush is here to help us come to grips with something that we, we should all be very comfortable with, yet in today's fast-paced world is often a major struggle, and that is taking time out, unplugging. Absolutely, Graham. And it, it's tricky these days because we are surrounded by so many devices. And so parents are plugging into their cell phones and their PDAs and their email. And even often, their fridge. Even now. their fridge, yes. <laughs> and often when their kids come to them and, and need attention and you know, want to talk or want to play or whatever, the parents don't take time off from what they're doing and so you're multitasking and you're trying to play while you're downloading a podcast or you know and, and parents going to go fetch their children from school is a classic example walking in to fetch their kids and their children running up saying mommy mommy daddy daddy and the cell phone rings and who wins the mm, cell phone just turn or the, the child, child off Put it on mute. and i found <laughs> even myself these days driving along and i have a learner driver of a son who's 17 <laughs> and on, son. he's driving me along my chauffeur driven car <laughs> and there i am um, while he's talking mid-sentence making a call to my sister and she answers and I carry on a conversation mid-sentence with my son now I'm talking to my sister very rude so you know we all fall into these traps from time to time and it really is important to unplug otherwise our children can tend to feel invisible I was gonna say this is one of those deeper messages it might feel like a flippant thing that you're doing just you know answering the phone call but there is a deeper underlying message that you are reinforcing with your child absolutely so when our ch children feel invisible um, we're giving that message of I don't really want to be with you right now or you're not really that important to me right now something else is taking your place and they get this nonverbal thing from us so it is important for us to pay attention and to try and be a little more present and of course unplugging from time to time enables us to do that well, of course we get given the opportunity over long weekends and, and holidays to be able to do that but it's now what vehicle do we use to you know, <laughs> you know we sit here we live this fast-paced life it's very difficult for me to turn the brain off and not think about the next day the next week the next month everything is moving so fast if I had children in that component as well, it would be a, you know, even more complicated. How do we unplug? It is tricky. I think sometimes we need to schedule time in with our, with our children. Make so a date. So why not yeah. make a date? Like Actually that. decide, and so it's family day, make a date, put aside an hour or two, take them out for a milkshake or a hamburger if you're battling to do it within your home confines. Um, go and unplug while you have that hour with your children. So switch off your phone, leave it in your cubby hole, switch off your computers, close the door to your home office or whatever it is and just really try and be with your children one of the uh, tools that I would recommend is that use that time to play a game with mm. your children because that focuses everybody's attention on something else it actually takes the pressure off you and your child and you just get into that moment so it might be a case of playing hangman on a serviette I was if you're say, out. unless you're playing monopoly and that'll split the family down the middle yeah, man. Yeah. even um, if it's not a game and you're at home why not cook together we forget to do chores with our children. There are really some very simple things one can do, but the most important thing when you're being with your children is to make eye contact and to really listen. Be present. We're yeah. not listening to our children. And, and often they say, Did, didn't you hear me, Mum? Didn't you hear me? And you actually haven't heard them because you're thinking of five million different things at once. So I would say, make a date unplug and play a game. You might notice this grin on my face here. <laughs> this is hilarious. We might as well be talking to the 15-year-old child with this kind of advice. This is normally the slap on the wrist we give our children for not concentrating, not being involved. As a parent, this also yeah. gives you the opportunity to have fun and relax. It's not just about you giving to your child, but you might actually have a wonderful time yourself. Well, you will. <laughs> and the thing is, we're all hardwired to play. We've just forgotten. Like We've forgotten how to do it. We've forgotten that we need to do it. So playing with your children is a little bit like pressing the pause button. So on family day, why not? Press pause. Are you going to be pressing pause today? Absolutely. I hope so. <laughs> well, have a wonderful family day. Good luck with the learner driver when they actually become a driver. Um, but always a pleasure catching up with you. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Graham. That was Nikki Bush helping us come to grips with family time. Make it real. Make it authentic. Take the time out. You yourself might have just as much fun as your kids. Family day is the day to do it, but we should be doing this as often as we can. Connect with your kids if you want them to connect with you.